Hey kids, thanks for joining me today. Can you remember what we're talking about? That's right, it's the Holy Spirit. Let's watch our comic hero and see what Johnny has to teach us today. Come Holy Spirit. Whatever you do, don't go up there. Johnny, this is our chance to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Go, go. I don't know, maybe after I go to the restroom. What is taking so long? Johnny? You'll never take us alive! Some hero sneaking out a window. Heartboy's right. If I want the Holy Spirit and power, I gotta do this. Come, Holy Spirit. I believe! Here's why we pray in tongues. It builds up your spirit. <sighs> it's like a secret prayer language to God. It controls your tongue. You're weak. Curse. Swear. You're ugly. Get back in there, you beast. What was Johnny doing in our video? That's right, he was praying in tongues or using his Holy Spirit to pray with. We talked a little bit last week about speaking in tongues and how it's the evidence of being filled with the Holy Spirit. But there are some great reasons to speak in tongues to help you out. We're actually gonna talk about three of those reasons today. The first one, the Bible talks about in 1 Corinthians 14.4. Let's read what the Word of God has to say. He who speaks in tongues edifies himself. Well, what does that big word mean, edifies himself? It means he builds himself up. You're gonna build up your spirit, man, the more you speak in tongues. Have you ever been a part of a push-up contest? That was really tough. My arms are sore. How do we get better at doing push-ups? Well, we practice. The more you practice, the better you're gonna be and the more push-ups you're gonna be able to do. So if you can only do five push-ups, if you do five push-ups every day for a week, all of a sudden you're gonna be able to do eight push-ups and then 10 push-ups and then 15 push-ups and then 25 push-ups and before you know it, you'll be able to do push-ups all day long. It's the same thing when we speak in tongues or use our spirit man. The more we practice, the better we get at it. So when you're first filled with the spirit, with the evidence of speaking in tongues, you might only speak in tongues for 30 seconds or maybe for three minutes. But the more we practice that, if we speak in tongues every day for three minutes and then every day for five minutes, every day for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and before you know it, you'll be able to do it for an entire hour. Wow. Just like with those push-ups, when you get to the end of how many you feel like you can do, your body starts screaming at you. Stop, you're tired, don't do anymore. Well, it's kind of the same thing with practicing speaking in tongues. You see, the brain isn't active or engaged or even being entertained when you're speaking in tongues. And so a lot of times your brain says, hey, let's just quit this and go play some video games. But just like only doing one push-up a day or no push-ups, it's not good to build your body same thing is true if you don't pray in tongues every day. It's not a great way to build your spirit man if you don't use what God has given you. The second reason to speak in tongues is because the Word of God says we're speaking a heavenly language or a secret language. 
I remember when I was younger and me and my best friend, we tried to make up our own secret language. That way, no matter who else was around, we'd be able to talk to each other and only we would understand it. Have you ever tried that with your friend? It also kind of makes me think of those spy movies where the special agent sends back code and they have to figure out what is it that he's saying by the code and if you don't have the key to the code, you're never gonna figure it out. Kind of makes you feel very special when you have a secret language. The Bible talks a little bit about that when we speak in tongues. We're gonna read from Romans 8.26. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weakness, for we do not know what we should pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself prays for us, groanings which cannot be understood. So right there in the Bible it says that our brain maybe won't understand it, but when we're not even sure what to pray, the Spirit picks up in our weakness. He makes us stronger by praying that secret language, straight from our spirit, right to God, bypassing the brain. We don't have to know what it is that he's saying, and the people around us don't have to know what it is that we're praying. We just know that it's the Holy Spirit that's praying perfectly straight to heaven. I think the more we practice this, the more God begins to look for people who are willing to put the time and the effort in to becoming really good at this. And sometimes he might even give you a secret mission. You know what the secret mission is? Praying for somebody else. You might feel inside your heart, wow, I should really pray for Pastor Amber today. Hey, if you ever get that feeling, just do it. But you might not know what to pray. Well, maybe something's happening in my life that I need God to intervene in. The Holy Spirit will help you to know the right things to say, even if your brain doesn't understand. The third reason to pray in tongues is because it helps to control the tongue. You see, in James 3, 6 through 8, it talks about the tongue being like a wildfire untamed and running all over the place. Have you ever seen pictures from the internet about a fire that turned into a wildfire? Especially if it's like in the forest or if there's dry grass, that fire can spread for miles and miles and miles, even wiping out homes and cities that were in the way because they weren't even able to stop it. That's what the Bible says our tongue can be like. Have you ever said something that you regretted later? Well, I know that I have. It's hard for us to tame the tongue. It's hard for us to control the things that are coming out of our mouths. Maybe it's a bad word that you've kind of gotten the habit of saying. Or maybe it's talking negatively about yourself or about other people. It can be really hard to change the words that we're saying when we get used to saying them. It's like that wildfire that just destroys everything. But the Bible says the best way to be able to control the tongue is through the Holy Spirit. So the more we speak in tongues and the more we practice that, the more it's gonna help us to tame our tongue. So the next time you go to say something negative like, wow, I really stink at math, you're gonna feel that little warning, remember that red light in your Holy Spirit that says, hey, don't say that about yourself. You're smart because God made you that way. You have the mind of Christ. The Holy Spirit reminds us about the words that God says over us. Because of that, we can always overcome the tongue. Wow, those sound like some really great reasons to pray in tongues. It helps us to build up our spirit man. It helps us to have a secret heavenly language. And it helps us to tame the tongue. This next week as you go through your week, if you have a hard time taming your tongue or maybe you feel like your spirit man's kind of weak, or maybe you're not really even sure what to pray, let's remember this lesson and all of the benefits that speaking in tongues has for us. Thank you so much for joining me today and I can't wait to see you here next week.